Good afternoon everyone. I trust everybody's well. Cape Town is freezing. Angus McKenzie has turned into a rapper. It's the funniest thing I've ever seen. You need to go and see it. Um, but that's not why I'm here. You know, I've been alerted and I've been watching and not commenting. Our Ocean View group. And this is not a jab at any one of our other branches because most of you are doing spectacularly well. But Ocean View seems to have lit fire under the city of Cape Town. I need to congratulate our ward candidate, Aslam Richards, Vasco, Nadia, the rest of the team, entire Satadin family. Well done. You know, you've addressed issues that the city has ignored for years that no one else wanted to have a look at and today the city has come up and the lives of the people in Ocean View will automatically become just that little bit better and that is what we're about guys it's small changes small changes you know big changes require evolution small changes is good for now um, I want to use this yardstick as a challenge to our other branches step it up step it up do better you know we're not here to push time we are here to make a change in our areas to make things just that little bit better with what we have in hand I also want to make it known that while we know that the DA doesn't care about us I want to know what the plan is to make it better from the other side of the fence it's just a question I'm putting out there and then finally, to the CCC, I've been looking at these roofs and lo and behold, they're all asbestos and we're still paying rent. We're still paying apartheid rent for apartheid spatial planning. I think we should take on the asbestos issue because as far as my limited knowledge suggests, it is illegal for us to be living under these roofs that the city is charging us for putting us at risk I want to touch on the issue of rentals why our grandmothers why great grandmothers are still paying rent for houses they've lived in for 40 years with the city of Cape Town making no attempt to turn them from tenants into property owners because we are cash cow to them because it's what the DA needs from us money nothing else well and votes Guys, we need to address the issue as to when do our people get the title deeds of the houses that they've lived in for 40 plus years. The houses they've been dumped in. How the original owners of the land have become tenants in their only home. How 25, 26, 27 year old young boys from the Eastern Cape become landowners as they virtually get off the bus. We need to address this issue and we need to address it aggressively. If it means that we have to do things like shutting down things, so I can get sued again, that is fine. But let's put our heads together and see how we can make it just that little bit better. It is wet outside. It is cold outside. Please share thought for those living in the backyard. Those we have thus far been unable to get to. We will get to you. That is our commitment to you. Keep safe Cape Town. Speak to you soon.